A recession is coming and here is what I'm going to do as a DECA millionaire. Let me caveat this video with two incredibly important points. Number one, I am not a fortune teller. A recession could or could not be coming, but based on all the data that I've done, the research I've done, and the people that I look up to, including people who have hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars underneath their own management have told me. And the second thing is that I am not a financial advisor. So what I say in this video is just my own personal experience and what I'll be doing. I'm not making a recommendation that you should do anything here. Now, before I get into the action steps, let me make it crystal clear that I am a very aggressive person. Aggressive in the sense that I see a recession as an incredible opportunity for myself and my business to compound growth over the next few years. And that is because of a few reasons. Number one, I'm young. Number two, I have disposable income. And number three, I truly believe based on the skill sets that I have that I'll never be left out in the cold because I know that I'm going to be valuable no matter what the marketplace turns into. So if you're potentially worried about how to make rent next month, then this video might not be for you. So step number one is that I am not worrying about an emergency fund. Now, I know some of you might be terrified by this. The Dave Ramseys of the world think that I'm the worst person ever, but I will tell you that I have no interest or desire for an emergency fund. And that's mostly because I have built almost my entire life around variable costs, meaning that it wouldn't be very hard for me to cut down to the absolute bare minimum, let's say if shit really did hit the fan. In addition to that, I have spent years honing a skill that is incredibly valuable in the marketplace. So I know that no matter what happens in the recession or if we're booming, I will always have desire for people that want to hire me. And I have not gone through a recession yet, but I can tell you that my skill set has to do with helping other people acquire more clients. And whether we're having an incredible economy or we're having a poor economy, people are always going to be looking to grow their business. And because of that, I will always be getting paid. I also believe a lot in mindset and like mind programming. And I don't even want to have the scarcity mindset of of let me have this emergency fund just in case because I think that then you're putting in the universe that the just in case will happen when instead if you just focus on some of the next steps that I'm talking about here you may not have to worry about something like that or at least that's the way that I'm looking at it so my action step number two is going to be to invest more into my business and maybe you have a business maybe you're thinking of starting a business or maybe you work for a business but I personally am going to be spending more time and money in my business to get it grow before and during the recession you may be interested to know that dozens of companies on the fortune 500 list such as airbnb or uber were created during some of the worst recessions and depressions in human history and that is because where most people are retreating back they're scared they're creating the emergency funds they're worried other people are absolutely gassing it and they're acquiring a larger market share because of that actually a few years ago when a certain disease started spreading all around the world and the world was in uncertainty i could even see because i spend millions of dollars a month in advertising some of the ad costs becoming lower and it was cheaper for me to acquire a customer than it was just months before that. And that because there wasn't as much competition on the ad networks because less people were advertising because they were so worried about what was going to happen next. So if you can gas it at a time like that and go all in, you have a much higher chance if you have the capital and if you're aggressive to actually start growing your business during a time when everybody else is retreating. My third personal action step for preparing for a recession is to invest into things that I can leverage. What I mean by that is that I want to be putting my money to work for me leading up to a recession because like I said in the very beginning, who knows when the recession will happen. So if I keep on stacking capital like everybody talks about all the time, then I could end up just stacking capital forever. So what I'd like to be able to do is to continue to make the investments and dollar cost average into the things that I'm currently dollar cost averaging to like the stock market or cryptocurrency or real estate, except for all the things that I'm investing into. I want to make sure that when the time comes, I can leverage those investments to then pull out capital and make more investments from it. For example, I have a decent sized stock portfolio over at Schwab. And one of the things that I've done is I have created a pledge asset line, which is essentially a relationship I have with Schwab where I say, hey, I'm going to put my stocks that I've invested with you and I've grown over the past few years up as collateral. And I want to loan out against them uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash at which I can then go deploy into something else such as cryptocurrency, real estate, or my business. And the best part is, is that these lending rates are typically incredibly lower than what would you get from a commercial loan. So some of the things that I'm getting from Schwab is like at a 2.5 to 2.7% interest rate, which if you equal inflation inside of there as well, it becomes out to pretty much free money that I'm getting able to pull out. And then I can put that money to work for me. And as long as I'm getting higher than a 2.7% return on it, which I would do in almost anything that I did with it, it would be a wise decision for me to make that choice. I know a lot of people that watch my channel also in 
invest in cryptocurrency. And so there are certain platforms that you can be investing and holding your cryptocurrency on that will allow you to take loans out against that cryptocurrency. Now, you have to be aware that let's say that you have a 50% loan to value ratio, meaning that the amount of money that you have in that asset, such as, you know, let's say a million dollars to make it easy into crypto, they'll only let you pull out like $500,000 for that 50% loan to value ratio. The issue is that if the economy tanks and all of a sudden cryptocurrency drops by 50%, then now you only have really 25% loan to value of what that original amount was. So in that instance, if you pulled out half a million dollars, they might ask or liquidate your positions up to $250,000 in order to make sure that you are current with that 50% loan to value ratio. So there is risk involved in this, but as long as you're not maxing out these uh, loans or maxing out this leverage, you should be totally fine. Or I should say, I'll be totally fine. My fourth personal recession proof strategy that I'll be following is securing access to capital now. What do I mean by that? I mean, I am starting to build relationships with with banks, uh, creating lines of credit and credit cards so that when the time comes, I don't have to start filling out paperwork when actually during a recession, it's typically really hard to get access to capital. I'm starting that relationship now and securing all of it so that when the time comes, when let's say a recession hits and I see a great opportunity for me to invest in a piece of real estate or into my business, all I have to do is send an email out or do a few clicks of my mouse and I could get instant access to capital, hundreds of thousands of dollars at a low percentage point that I can then invest. What most people do, or at least what I see a lot of people do, is they wait until the recession happens, then they see an opportunity, then they try to start the relationship to then get a line of credit, to then finally invest the funds, and by the time that happens, the opportunity is typically passed. So right now I'm setting myself up so that whenever the time does come and I see something where, hey, I need to deploy these capital really quickly and maybe I don't have the funds currently or I don't wanna use my own funds, I can snap my fingers, get access to that capital and deploy it immediately. For my next personal recession strategy, I will be always reminding myself to take a macro view. What do I mean by that? Well, there are a few really great books out there such as Ray Dalio's Principles books or actually one of his new books, The New World Order which shows you in history the booms and busts of the economy. And it shows that after a certain amount of years, there is almost always a recession. There's almost always a boom. There's almost always a bust. It follows a pattern if you zoom out long enough. It's like whenever you see cryptocurrency or Bitcoin dropping from 60,000 to 40,000, everybody's freaking out. They're yelling, they're screaming. They think it's the end of the world. Oh, this thing doesn't make sense anymore. When you actually zoom out on a macro level and you see that Bitcoin over the last five years have grown by hundreds of percentage of points, right? So you have to always make sure that in the moment, if you're always in that micro view, like you're always going back to that scarcity mindset, worried about, oh, tomorrow you wake up in the next three months, the next one year, the next two years, potentially we could be in a recession. Well, two years of your life is actually not that long of a time period. And if you make all of your decisions and some serious critical decisions, like selling all of your assets or selling your entire portfolio during a one to two year window, because you're worried about that there, you could have a absolutely irreversible reversible or detrimental impact over your macro strategy, which is your entire lifetime, you know, 50, 80, maybe even 100 years of investing. So always make sure or this is just strategy and advice I'm giving myself here, I should always make sure that I zoom out on the macro level and realize that whatever is happening on the day to day in this intense micro level, it has almost no indication on what is happening on the macro on the macro level, almost all assets are going up and to the right. And I just need to always remind myself that even when the current situation is gloom and doom. And my final recession preparation strategy is going to be to invest more into the one thing in a crazy world that I can control, and that's myself. I will continue to invest more into myself by learning more books, joining more masterminds, honing my skills, and getting the best at the world at one thing, so that in case something does explode in the world, I know that I can give my absolute very best to deliver every single day. This is, for example, a great reason why I got into business for myself, and also a great example of why I don't do day trading. It's because in day trading, when I'm looking at the stocks and it goes up and down, or cryptocurrency, something like that, I'm relying on an outside influence, right? Whatever's happening in those businesses or in the global economy at large, where when I run my own business, I am relying on my own personal skill sets. I know that as long as I can deliver and provide value to a marketplace that wants that thing, I will always be paid, which is why I run an aggressive strategy for a lot of this stuff here, because I honestly am not worried about what I have. I could have all of my funds and all of my assets totally wiped out during recession, and I have absolutely no qualms with that. My monthly nut to 
cover for my personal life is like 11 to $13,000 a month. So as long as I could cover that, I'll be totally fine. And that's like a worst case scenario. And I know that we're making hundreds times that every single month right now inside the business the way that it currently is. So make sure that has come from whether it was a recession or a depression or it's been a boom economy. Make sure you're always investing in yourself and always learning and growing because no matter what happens in the outside world, you have full and total control over your day-to-day -day actions. I'll leave you with a recommendation of one of my favorite books of all time, which is The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And essentially the idea behind it is that some of the most difficult times in our lives, you can actually adjust your perspective on them to see that that is setting you up and preparing you for one of the biggest opportunities you could ever go through. And that is how I see something like a recession or depression. I see it as an incredible opportunity for me to grow and be challenged both personally and in the business side. And I welcome that every single day.